Hello everyone, I'm really excited to share this phone illustration with you. I haven't been painting for such a long time. I'm really happy that I get to do it again. The style I'm painting in is inspired by Frank Netter. His Anatomy Atlas is one of the most popular atlas around the world. If you turn to page 409, you will find the humerus and scapula that I'm painting in this video. We will start with the shadow. I'll use this cobalt blue, opacity about 9%. The brush I'm using using is Kyle's paint box wash player 70 so this is a type of dry brush bones have rough surfaces that's why i'm using a dry brush freeze it to like three percent that's good the overall shadow really light what we're doing now is to create the form switch to this bristol brush this brush have a scratchy type of pattern. This is really good for the bones. Turn the opacity down. Turn the shadow in. The form of the scapula is coming together. And I always would zoom out a little bit to check the overall form. Increase the opacity. Let me see. This is for pushing some of these parts backward. Okay, now the overall form is ready. I will then add the bone color onto this part of the scapula. I will grab the ochre color, switch back to gouache layer 70, make it very, very light, 3% ochre color and just brush it like an overall i'll switch to a darker ochre color make it a little bit opaque started adding it to darker part of the bone now it's starting to turn into a bone color after applying the ochre more into the shadow part the scapula is starting to show up this part needs to go a little bit darker that will Go back to the scapula shadow layer, add more violet. And I think I will use a little bit of blending of these shadow, but like not too much. Because now the brush stroke is very prominent, a little bit too expressive for some people's taste, I think. I will just soften it up a little bit. Okay. Yes, that's a scapula, and I will label them later. If I really want to, I can make an exact copy of Frank Netter's illustration, but I would just leave it like this because it will take so long to fill in all the details. I also prefer to leave my bones a little bit paler than Frank Netter's yellowish color. He probably used a very old bone specimen that there's a lot of oxidation on the surface of the bone. This is a recording from my live stream. You can follow my social media to check out the live stream schedule. I always like to hang out with you guys, so I look forward to seeing you live.